Hello, I'm Tom, and you might know me from such Reaper videos as how to fix your crappy playing, how to record backwards satanic messages, and how to do some boring stuff. In this video, I'm going to go through how to create a track template, which is different from a projects template, which would cover the whole project, and it's different from an effects chain, which would just be for a single track when you save all the effects and settings and automation on that. So where you might use a track template would be for, say, setting up something like a default drum bus or guitar bus. So I'm going to start by um, doing a guitar bus. So I'm then going to add in a new track, and by clicking on the little plus sign here, you put it under the folder of here, and then everything underneath will automatically be routed to the top. So what I'll do is just click on effects, and I'm going to go to effects chain, and I'm going to add one which would be a good starting point. So I'm going to add measure. Mesa and Marshall cabs here. So both of these are free ones. Um, so I'll put links in the, the description. These are both good ones. I know they work well together as well. So, right, what I'll do, this is set up, well, that one was set up for, I'm um, playing both at the same time in stereo. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the track. I'll just write track one on here. Right. And then what, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan these so that um, the first one is 100% to the left, the second one is 100% to the right, and I'll just turn these down to about there as a starting point. So now one's going to have the mess, it's going to be all Mesa Cab on the left, and it's going to be um, all the Marshall on the right, or possibly the other way around. Okay, so I'm going to add in another track now. And instead of going for an effects chain, I'm just going to go for, I'm going to go for the cab loader. This is a free cab loader as well. So there is a newer one, but I prefer this one. So I'll put a link to this as well. And then I'm going to add in an IR. So I need to go to my IR folder. This will be another free one. So I'm going to go for ML Sound Labs. Best IR in the world. This is a good one. Okay, and then I'm going to duplicate this track. So I'll just call this, um, I'll change that. So I'm going to call this 70 because I'm going to set these. Actually, I'll move these down a bit lower, both of these ones. And I'm going to set this to 70% to the left. I'll do. Right, and then on this one, I'll do this to 70% to on the right. So this tends to work well to get a big guitar sound. And then I'm going to change the IR on this one. So you're using different ones for each, for each track. And for this one, I'm going to go for another free one, York Audio. Okay, for this one. Okay, so now we've got different ones on each track. I'll just call this. So you might want to um, change the IRs to get it to fit better in the track later on. This is just a good starting point. 
Um, also, what you might want to do is add some color to the actual um, top level of the guitar bass folder on the top. So I'm going to go track color, set tracks to custom color. So if you're doing sort of lighter music, you might want to go for, say, something like Daytona Peach or possibly Goose Turd Green. That's something mainly metal. I'm going to go for Lusty Gallant. So I think this um, helps. Well, in my view, it helps to enhance the subtlety and nuances of a performance. Right. So now we've got that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add another effects chain for the top level of guitar bus. So normally takes a second to load up. OK, so the first one just very basic EQ. It's just a low pass and a high pass. This is just a starting point. So once you actually have the whole track together, you're going to want to mess about with these and move them about to get it to fit in as, as best as possible. Um, I don't like to do lots of hacking about with EQ and messing about with it. If, you use, if you've got good straight recordings and you're using good IRs, you shouldn't really need to do that other than making some changes to help everything fit in together. Um, so um, what I will do is that next bit is I use an effects rack. I'm using a sound toys effects rack. It's my main first choice just to pick up a reverb. So I'll just use some basic room reverb. So you could put this on another track on another route if you wanted, but I'm just doing it all together for ease of use. So um, I'd normally go for something like either medium bright room, medium dark room or medium room. And then I'll just adjust the mix on each one just to get it to fit in as well as possible. And having said that I don't like to do drastic EQ on the actual um, guitar, what I do do sometimes is I use um, PsyQ here and just adjust this. So this is a much more subtle and broader and musical type of EQ. It's not a like big cuts and hacking away at things with EQ, which normally sounds really obvious and just doesn't sound good to my ear. But this is very musical and it and if you do use it, it just sometimes it just adds that little extra five percent. But this video is supposed to be um just for um, free stuff. So what I'm going to do instead on this one is I'm going to add in um, not rear verb, but rear verb eight. And I'm just going to choose the default, just a discrete room. So it's just a basic room. So you can just play about with this again. OK, so that's pretty much it on that. So what do you want to do? Once you've got this as a starting point, obviously you want to play about with all the settings and stuff once you've got the track, but this saves setting it all up. And then what you do is you just select all the tracks. Then you go to save tracks as a track template. And then I've already saved one as guitar bus, so I won't do it again because I'll save over it. And then you just save it there and then you can open it up. So I'll delete all these. And then when you want to use it the next time, you just go to insert and you go to insert track from template and it all shows the last one there already. So I just go guitar bus. Yep. And it sticks it all back in again. OK, so hopefully this has been helpful. As I said, I'll I'll leave the I'll leave links to the IR loader and um, to the four impulse responses I used, all of which are as good as any paid ones. And they both give give a variety of sounds. So often if you just use one um, company's IRs, they often sound like that company's IRs. So if you use ones from different companies, it does give you a much bigger range of sounds. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, check out some of my other videos if you're interested. Cheers. Bye.